wanted to do a quick video about how the uh, pandemic is actually changing the political landscape in the United States for the better. And not just the political landscape, but the economic landscape will, in the long run, be better. It's um, honestly the virus has done more for nationalism than Donald Trump has done in almost four years. And it's done more for socialism than Bernie Sanders has done in over five decades. So my point is, is this. We are being pushed toward a national socialist system in the United States because it is the ideal system to respond to things. It's also, I think, changing the outlook of a lot of people. Hey, look, look at it this way. Abortions are down 90-something percent, or maybe even 100 percent, because they're elective, you know what I mean? And debauchery and degeneracy is down because people are stuck inside, and, on the, and people are being shifted toward uh, a sense of nationalism, uh, like, I, I actually love Donald Trump at this point, not voting for him. <laughs> I'm not voting in 2020, but I love Donald Trump in the sense that he refuses to let the Chinese communists walk on us. And as he has stated, it is a. So also what's important is the reason that a national socialist country is the best at response to this is we realize that we need to be able to make, to, to manufacture our own necessities because of this lack of pharmaceuticals, this lack of breathing apparatuses. We have a lack of medical supplies because we were too dependent on China, and it seems like the attitudes are shifting towards nationalism. Okay, and uh, Ford and General Motors have stated that they might be starting to manufacture these necessities, like during World War II, how they manufactured the weapons, they manufactured something called the grease gun for the Allies and things of that nature. So we're going back toward this, this, uh, this nationalistic pride. And in a socialist type of sense, what you have to understand, and I'll leave a link to um, Governor Cuomo's uh, speech regarding the healthcare system. What people don't understand is a capitalist healthcare system is not good to react to national emergencies because, as he put it, you don't make a, – a, a capitalist hospital, a for-profit hospital does not make a wing, an ICU wing that stays dormant for 20, 30 years. He said 10 years, but you know what I mean, 20, 30 years collecting dust waiting for the off chance of a pandemic. However, if our hospitals were nationalized, they're already funded a great deal by the by public money. So it's not uh, it would it's not absurd to think that they should have the nation's um, health interests in mind. But if they were nationalized and created for the need of responding to a national emergency, we wouldn't be having the situation where we don't have enough hospital beds if these things were put into play and the, the medical system in the United States was nationalized. Um, so I see a shift out of necessity toward a national socialist form of government, and I think it's a great thing. Even Sean Hannity was surprised that Ilhan Omar was supportive of the president's response. Now, what's funny is, as I've noted, Ilhan Omar is not anti-American. Ilhan Omar is pro-American in the sense that she came out against a foreign country using foreign money to basically uh, sway politicians to their side. I think this is going to end up great in the long run as far as merging. Our country will emerge as a stronger, more nationalist, more socialist republic that will be able to take care of its own people much better. And uh, I'm going to put my Twitter handle in the uh, description if anybody wants to follow me on Twitter. It's uh, Republican Justicialist is the name that I'm using, and I'll leave the handle underneath of that.